Hello and welcome to the School of Alevism. Today we will be exploring what a Jemevi is. Jemevis are places of worship for Alevis. This is where Alevis meet to hold gems, which as mentioned before, are religious ceremonies where they establish different erkans, which are rituals and spiritual practices. Jemevi translates to gem house. Alevis symbolically kiss the threshold of the doorway when entering the Jemevi. This greeting means the individual has left their ego, ethnic identity and daily worries behind them and outside the Jemeve. They enter the Jemeve as nothing but Jan, which interprets to a soul. Alevi Jemevis and meeting places have opened in cities around the world and they carry out their rituals in the public realm. Historically, Alevis were oppressed assimilated and victimized for their beliefs. The Alevi worship can take place anywhere and at any time. During the secret gems, there would be a person standing by the door called the Kapaja, which translates to the doorkeeper. The sense of hiding one's faith was so entrenched in Alevism that one of the 12 services in the gem ceremony is strictly dedicated to the Gojja to watch out for the threats from authorities. Even till today, in certain parts of the world, especially in Turkey and the Middle East, Alevis are still fighting for the recognition of their places of worship and their identity. Cemevlerin ibadet ibadethane statüsünün tanımlanması konusundaki muradınızın ne olduğunu anlamak istiyorum, sormak istiyorum şu an size. Milyonlarca Alevi vatandaşımızın açıkça beklentisi var. Burası ibadethane midir, değil midir? Siz önce buna bir cevap verin. Sonra hukuk meselesini yine hallederiz. 3194 sayılı imar kanunu 18. maddesi uygulamasında ibadet alanı kanun yönetmelik cami diyor. Nasıl cem evine vereceksin ama? <gülüyor> kanun değişmesi gerekiyor. Kanun. Az ederim. Cem evlerinde yardım etmiyorlar. İnanç merkezinin ibadet haline sayılıp sayılmayacağını bir o inanç merkezinin sahipleri karar verir. Bu devletin işi değildir veya diyanetin işi de değildir. Following years of campaigning around the world, Jemevis are officially recognized as places of worship in Denmark, Germany, Britain, Sweden, Switzerland and beyond. In the present day, many Alevis have migrated to different countries and metropolitan cities to live a safe and free life. They have built Jemevis to conduct their worship ceremonies, carry out their necessary rituals, such as wedding nikah erkana or funerals hakka yuruma erkana. The modern Jemevi has allowed Alevis to have a cultural and religious home. In the present day, Jemevis are also visited for cultural and educational reasons. Many Jemevis will accommodate lessons for Alevi music in the form of saz and dance such as sema, as both of these are vital for Alevism. Jemevis can also be considered as community centers. They accommodate important community functions such as activities for the elderly, youth and women. Jemevis are open to everyone regardless of gender, ethnicity and religious identity. Each Jemevi has a kitchen. The Jemevi goers usually bring donations of food to the Jemevi kitchen and every individual brings as much as they can afford to bring. This collective responsibility is taken so seriously that it is a part of the worship and it is referred to as Lokma. Jemevis can also be considered food banks or soup kitchens as everyone can access the food that is offered for free. Each Jemevi has an important hall which is usually where the gem ceremony is held. This hall is looked after at all times and the cleansing and treatment of the hall is carried out by both men and women. Jemevis can be found all around the world, including Europe, Turkey, Australia, Latin America, Canada, and anywhere Alevis have migrated. Jemevis and other Alevi institutions cannot be distinguished from other buildings. This is due to the fact that Alevism does not value appearance. However, if you do come across a Jemevi, you can notice this by the pictures, art, and name of the building. Here are some facts about the Jemevi. The oldest Jemevi known to exist today is based in Malatya, Turkey. 
The first gem ever to open in the UK was established in 1993 in Hackney, East London. There are currently 18 gem avenues throughout the UK. The largest gem ever in the UK is currently located in North London and Wood Green, which is considered to be a derga. What is a derga? This is a topic for another episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.